John, uh, a battling display against high flying Liverses today, but not quite enough in the end. What's your thoughts on the performance today? I've been at the club for two months now. I learnt more in that game than I learnt in any other game. I'm, I can't be brutally honest about it. Uh, we had a game plan and they set it off to the letter. You know, there was excellent, excellent all the way through against, uh, you know, a very, very experienced and good side, a, a very good football inside. Um, went down to 10 men and I thought we took the game to them. With 10 men, we took the game to them. And there were some outstanding performances, outstanding performances through, you know, through the whole side. Um, the back four, superb. The back four was superb. Uh, Kezi hasn't trained all week. Uh, he was very, you know, really tired, really tired towards the end. So I had to make a change. Um, the midfield, superb. Um, in particular, our number ten was superb today. So you learnt any good things about the team today? Excellent. I just learned. I've learned that. You know we've we can compete against uh, you know the top team. Uh, went down to, like I said when we went down to ten men. If we maybe kept eleven on the park, don't know. But they deserve to win. You know, Lewis is deserve to win. Yeah, second half we gave it a, gave it a good go, but obviously the, the opening goal just changes things, doesn't it? Well, it did, but I still thought the opening goal, and I thought you know when DC got sent off. What I could see of the game, you know, we took it to them. You know, we took it to them. We had a real good go. And we created a few, you know, half decent chances. Uh, just, just to touch on the send it off of Donald. Um, what was your view on that? It's hard to say because you can't see it. You know, mm. you can't see it happen. It happens so fast. He's, if he's gone in for, if he's gone in for a tackle like that, he leaves himself a little bit open. But he's not that type of player. He's not that type of player. He's DC, and I just, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit harsh on him. But it's been given, so you know, you've got to, you've got to get on with it. Yeah, you mentioned it just a minute ago, but despite being down a goal and, and down a man in that second half, the spirit didn't seem to diminish and we created some really good opportunities in the, in the final third. Excellent, excellent, excellent performance in the second half um, and our fitness was at a great level. And yes, we got, you know, we scored one late on against us, um, but it was us that was taking the game to them and we had to take some gambles and we maybe left a little bit, you know, a little bit of um, gaps at the back. Uh, ben Bottomley came in for his debut from Doncaster Rovers in between the sticks today. Um, what did you make of his performance? Superb. Superb. Paul got some absolutely magnificent saves. His kicking was good uh, and it was a credit to himself and to Doncaster Rovers. Uh, just want to clear up what happened with Josh King in the week. Obviously he announced a loan sign and then all of a sudden with a U-team. Just to clarify for the fans that don't know. <laughs> if the fans don't know, he, you know, he came, he signed for the club and... Um, but I just want to keep it because I just, you know, we have a good relationship with York and I want to keep a good relationship with York and, you know, I think an agent got involved and um, it just went wrong because of the agent. And just finally, John, are you looking to rotate the side on Tuesday night for the West Riding Cup Cup? Uh, yeah, we are. Guys we are. We're going to rotate it and because um, we've got three really, really the games. I've got to concentrate on the games. The next three games after that are the big games for me. They're the big games for me and we've got to get the side you know, playing a pattern of football that we won, but it was encouraging today, uh, it was encouraging signs today. Thanks John. Thank you.